Hello? Is someone there? I is it you? Oh, it, it is you. Welcome back. It it's so good to see you again. I I'm so glad you came. Thank you so much. Even though you come at the same time every day, I, I always get worried that you won't show up. Especially with how hard it is to tell the time of day like this. I won't know if the time of your usual arrival has passed or not. I know you've been coming for, what has it been, years now? I know you've been coming for such a long time already, but I still always have the fear in the back of my mind that maybe yesterday was the last time I ever saw you. That I'll never see you again after that. You know, maybe you wouldn't want to visit me again, or maybe even if you did want to visit, something happened to you. Like a sickness got you, or a sinkhole, or something. We both know I've said this so many times in the past already, but your visits really do mean so much to me. I don't get any other visitors, after all. No one's exactly salivating over the idea of coming to visit the demon sealed away in a cage in the middle of nowhere. Especially with how ominous that is. I don't think anyone even knows about me anymore. Well, other than you, of course. Thanks again. If only these bars weren't imbued with silver and salt and who knows what else that makes them so strong, maybe I could break them. Or at least you could. First thing I would do is get out and just hug you. If only I could break them. Or if only you could destroy that talisman to finally release me? Just theoretically, of course. Standing offer. No pressure. Oh, come on. I already told you I didn't do anything. Anything bad enough to get me sealed away, anyway. That I remember. I mean, it's been what? How many centuries? I don't know. But if I committed any great crimes to get me sealed away, then they weren't a big enough deal for me to recall them, obviously. So let me out? I'm sure the priest just sealed me away because I'm a demon. I'm a victim of prejudice. So if you would oh so kindly just take that talisman and... Uh, okay, uh, okay, I I'm sorry, I I'll drop it. I get it. You aren't comfortable releasing me. Especially with the obelisk with, don't release the demon, etched in stone right next to the cage. In like a million languages. I mean it. I really am sorry. So, uh, did you bring anything? You did? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for the food. You don't know how much it means to me. <sighs> I don't exactly need food to sustain myself, but it's something that's really nice to have. Whether for the pleasure or dealing with the pains of hunger, you honestly have no idea how difficult things were before I met you. Say, my sense of time isn't the best. I mean... We don't exactly have a clock or calendar here, but if my memory serves correctly, isn't today your birthday? Are you spending it alone again? Well, I mean, other than me, of course. If you don't mind me asking, and it's okay if you don't feel comfortable answering, but don't any of your family or friends want to celebrate it with you? Or even your neighbors? But why? You're such a great person. They should be falling over each other to spend time with you. And that's just on a normal day. On your very birthday, they should put in even more effort and care than that. They shouldn't leave you all alone. <sighs> well, at least I'm alone too. So we can be alone together. Like two peas in a pod. I wish I could get you a present to commemorate the occasion... I'd get you the most precious thing I could buy. Which I could do if I was free, I might add. But, well, you know how it is. Right, right. Uh, I'm sorry. I know I said I'd drop it. I'll drop it. I hope you don't think too poorly of me, but 
in a messed up kind of way, I'm actually kind of happy. When I know how lonely you must feel, it makes me feel a lot less alone myself. Not just in a, I physically have some company kind of way, but knowing that I'm not the only one with these crippling emotions. Before you stumbled upon me and visited me, the only company I really had was my own thoughts. It really sucks to be alone with your thoughts, with no one to talk to. Not a single soul. Especially for so long. I just stare at the stars and think, well, I guess it doesn't matter now what I thought back then. But I am glad you feel the same way. Lonely like me. I mean, surely you must feel lonely like me, right? You always complain your journey here was so long, yet you make the trek each and every single day, whether through blistering heat or heavy rain, through hail or snow, all just to visit me. I wish I could visit you. Then I could make you feel a lot less lonely. I would make you feel so attended to and loved, not like your family and so-called friends, not like your neighbors, not like all those people who abandoned and neglected you, who still are. If I was free, there would be so many things I could do to make you feel loved, more than your mortal mind could ever imagine. For instance, demons don't need to sleep. Did you know that? It's true. I could watch you all throughout the long night to make you feel safe to make sure you are safe, and to make sure you always have company. If you ever want to talk, even if you wake up in the middle of the night, I'll be right there at your bedside, staring at you. Then you could talk to me about anything you want, anything at all. If you had a good dream, we could talk about that. You could smile as you delight in telling me all the whimsical and fantastical details, and I would smile too overjoyed for the story and conversation. And if you had a bad dream, if you woke up panting in a sweat with your heart racing, I could comfort you. I would hold you tight and ensure that you're safe with me, that whatever nightmare or monstrous creature you saw wouldn't be able to get past me, wouldn't be able to harm you. There are other things I could do for you as well. I'm not exactly a culinary expert, for obvious reasons, but I could learn. I'd learn how to cook and then prepare you every meal, and if it's not to your liking, I could just throw out the failure and try again. Even if you tell me a thousand times that you hate my cooking, I'll just remake it a thousand times until you're satisfied. I'd love to do that for you. Anything for you. I, um, I could even offer you skinship, if you'd like that. The others don't even bother visiting you on your birthday. I'm guessing they don't give you hugs or anything like that. Even though it's a human need, you must be so touch-starved. I'm touch-starved too, so I can gladly give you that. I'll hug you for as long as you want. I'll cuddle you for as long as you want. And you could do the same to me, of course. Hug me as long as you want. Cuddle me as long as you want. Even if you hugged me with enough force to snap my spine, I wouldn't complain. Not at all. I'd probably just enjoy the attention. If only I could do all that for you. What are you... What are you doing with the talisman? You... You actually did it. You... you set me free. I, I'm free. I... Uh, I don't... I, I don't even know how to respond, but... Sorry for doing that so suddenly and without warning. It just felt so... instinctive. And I've been starving to do that to you for so long. And you've been starved for receiving it, haven't you? A hug. It's okay. You don't have to be all alone anymore. You don't have to be neglected anymore. I'm right here beside you. 
I'm so proud of you. You let me free even though I could have used my freedom to escape or leave you. I wasn't exactly going anywhere when I was stuck inside that cage after all. But don't worry, I won't let you down. You've been loyal to me for all this time, always visiting no matter what. Always bringing me food, always talking with me. It's high time I return the favor. I'll be forever loyal to you, just as you have been loyal to me, even until the sun goes out. I'll give you all the love and attention you deserve. I'll never neglect you. I'll never abandon you. Not like the others. Speaking of the people who neglected and abandoned you, we should go find them. I need to get my hands on them. I have so much to say to them. And you can rest assured that I know just how to deal with them. They won't be the first humans I've killed after all.